Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I am going to solve 5 interesting examples based on Pauli fact. So, before I start with solution, I will show you all those questions. What I want is you just try all those questions by your own first. Later, you can check for the solution in this video itself. So, this is first question. You can freeze the video in between. This is second question. This is third question. This is fourth question. And this is fifth question. I hope you might have freezed the video in between and you might have tried solution of all these questions. Now I am going to explain you solution of all these examples. And before you start with solution of all these examples, what I want is you just go through my last video based on whole effect. So in that video, I have explained all the basics related whole effect as well as I have derived all the parameters of whole effect like what is whole voltage, what will happen with n type material and p type material in terms of hole coefficient and mobility so all the parameters that i have discussed in my last video right so if you see that video it will be easier for you to understand solution of all these problems so let us start with example solution 1 so here first question that is a strip of n type silicon experiences whole voltage of 1.7 microvolt so here we are having whole voltage that is given at a spacing of 1 centimeter. So we are measuring this voltage at this spacing of 1 centimeter. Due to uniform magnetic field of 2 Tesla, so magnetic field is given, find the electric field due to whole effect. So first we need to find electric field due to whole effect. So you should know what is electric field. Electric field electric field over here that is whole voltage divided by spacing at which we are measuring whole voltage you see here we are having this material and we are measuring whole voltage in between these two terminal where spacing is d right so that spacing is given over here that is 1 centimeter so whole voltage that is 1.7 microvolt micro means 10 to the power minus 6 divided by spacing that is 1 centimeter so 10 to the power minus 2 so this will be 1.7 into 10 to the power minus 4 volt per meter so that much electric field that will happen over here now second question that is the electric force due to whole effect on electrons so we need to find what is electric force so electric force let us say it is fe so that will be charge into electric field charge of electron right that we need to take so that is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 into electric field that is 1.7 into 10 to the power minus 4 that we have calculated so 1.6 into 1.7 let me check what is my answer that is 2.72 into 10 to the power minus 23 newton so this much amount of force that will be electric force that will be happening on electrons. Now next question that is drift velocity of the electron. So how to identify drift velocity? See we can identify drift velocity by multiple ways. But here I will explain you basic process how electric force and magnetic force is happening. Right. So in whole effect see this electric force that is induced electric force and that is getting balanced with magnetic force so in whole effect electric force that will be equals to magnetic force how much electric force is happening q into e how much magnetic force is happening q into vd into d where vd is drift velocity so here you can observe this q will get cancelled and you will be having this drift velocity that is electric field divided by magnetic field electric field that we have calculated that is 1.7 into 10 to the power minus 4 magnetic field is 2 tesla so if you solve this 1.7 by 2 that will be 0 0.85 into 10 to the power minus 4 so you can say this is 8.5 into 10 to the power minus 5 meter per second so that is drift velocity over here with this question i hope you have understood this let us move on to next interesting question now this second question that was there 
in gate examination let me read the question over here see the question is the majority carriers in n type semiconductor have an average drift velocity v in the direction perpendicular to a uniform magnetic field b the electric field e induced due to pole effect act in the direction of so what will be the direction of electric field that is the question now here there are few basic things that you should know see here electric force that is generated due to pole effect here we are placing material inside magnetic field you see in theory i have explained this material that we are placing under magnetic field so because of magnetic field we are having induced electric field we are having induced electric field so what is the direction of electric field that is a question right so here so here what we need to do is we need to see what is the force what is the force due to electric field so force due to electric field that is charge into electric field right and here force due to magnetic field that is charge into drift velocity cross magnetic field right so because of this magnetic field this induced electric field is happening and both are balancing each other so resultant force is zero see magnetic field that is existing but induced electric field that is balancing this right so here here fe and fb are balancing each other are balancing each other balancing each other means magnitude wise both are equal but direction wise both are opposite right so here you can say here you can say fe that is equals to minus of fb in terms of direction we have derived equations but in that we were not been considering directions right so you can say here q into e that is minus of q into vd cross b where this q is getting cancel so you can say electric field that is minus vd cross b and this minus sign that you can take it inside this cross so this will be magnetic field cross vd right that will be the value of electric field in terms of direction as well so here as per this option is b right so sometimes students are thinking like we have derived this right we have derived this but that was based on magnetic here in terms of direction also you need to understand here in whole effect because of magnetic force electric force is generated that is induced electric force and both are getting balance that's why electric force direction that will be exactly opposite to magnetic force direction and that is how this direction comes i hope you have understood this let us move on to next interesting question now so in third question i have seen some confusions with students after solving this question i'll be discussing about that confusion c1 let us read this question first see question is a copper strip of 2 cm wide and 1 mm thick is placed in a magnetic field of 1.5 weber per meter square so here see we are given with copper strip which is 2 cm wide and 1 mm thick and here magnetic field that is 1.5 weber per meter square if current of 200 ampere is set up in the strip calculate the whole voltage that appears across strip where whole coefficient is also given to us right now here question is what you know like when students solve this questions at that time they are having confusion based on width and thickness let me show you that in theory portion see width and thickness means what here if you observe this is the material which we have in which we are measuring whole voltage in between two surfaces this is what this is what width that you can say and this is what thickness that you can say why the reason is i am observing when you read different books at that time some people were been writing t over here 
somewhere been writing d over here somewhere been writing w over here somewhere been writing t over here so because of that confusion is getting created as you will be observing in solution they are having different formulas right so here see whole voltage that we measure it in between this two terminal right where d will be spacing in between two terminals where we measure voltage and when it comes to thickness that is w over here right so here in this question in this question that w that w is 1 mm over here right now now let us try to understand what we need to solve we need to solve whole voltage so whole voltage that we have derived in my last video and we have seen that what is that whole voltage whole voltage is whole voltage is vh and that is magnetic field into current into whole coefficient divided by w so i have told you see this w is thickness right this w is thickness and that d is spacing in between two terminal where we measure whole voltage so let us substitute the data over here so here b is 1.5 current i that is 200 whole coefficient that is 6 into 10 to the power minus 7 and here w that is 1 mm sometimes students may consider this and they may have false answer that's why i have shown you that theory portion 1 mm means 10 to the power minus 3 so if you solve this let me check what is my answer that is 0 0.18 voltage so you just check this answer even and validate in the comment section as well let us move on to next interesting question now so in fourth question an electric field of 100 volt per meter that is given so here we are given with electric field of 100 volt per meter to n type semiconductor material whose whole coefficient is minus 0.0125 meter cube per coulomb determine current density so question is to determine current density assume mobility of electron that is given that is 0.6 meter cube per volt second so that much data is given and we need to find current density see current density that you should know current density is how much current density is j and that is sigma into e and we are talking about n type so i am writing sigma n into e you see here electric field is given so obviously this sigma n conductivity that we need to find first now in whole effect i have told you you will have to understand few parameters if you observe that video in that i have told you see for n type mobility is equals to sigma n into rh right so that is what we will be using it to have a calculation of conductivity so let us use that equation so here mobility is equals to sigma n into rh so based on that we can have sigma n that is mobility divided by rh mobility is 0.6 rh is minus 0.0125 here we are ignoring this negative sign the reason is we just wanted to have a calculation of magnitude only so 0.6 divided by this let me check what is my answer so my answer is 48 and unit of conductivity that is per ohm meter right so that is the basic unit which is there with conductivity now we can have current density that is sigma n into e sigma n that we have calculated that is 48 electric field that is given to us that is 100 so current density that is 4800 and unit of current density is ampere per meter square right so that is how we can simply solve this type of question here you should know there is a relation of mobility conductivity and whole coefficient right and then you can use it and one more thing that you should know whole coefficient whole coefficient let me write whole coefficient that is 1 divided by n into e right and for p type semiconductor material it will be 1 divided by p into e where n is concentration of electron and for p type p will be concentration of holes right that is what the basic formula that we can 
use it in some questions even let us solve one more interesting question now this fifth question that is quite interesting and tricky when i have seen this question first time at that time i was not been able to solve this question after that i have done some google search based on what is the meaning of bcc how to solve bcc and all those things so let me explain you how how i have solved this question so let me read this question first so if you see this question see find the whole coefficient of sodium assuming bcc structure of cell side 4.28 angstrom so here bcc structure of sodium that is given to us and we are deal with to find whole coefficient so here let me explain you how to have whole coefficient see whole coefficient that is 1 divided by n into e where e is charge of electrons right that is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 but how to identify n so we can identify n based on bcc structure right so here you should know with bcc see with bcc with bcc we are having two atoms right with bcc we are having two atoms and with this if you want to calculate n then that will be 2 divided by this side cube right as this is what concentration so concentration will be 1 divided by cube of that side but with two atoms it will be 2 divided by cube of that side right so here 2 divided by 4.28 4.28 it is there in terms of angstrom so 10 to the power minus 10 cube that is how it is there so if you solve this in calculator let me check what is my answer so my answer for this is 2.55 into 10 to the power 28 per meter cube after that you can easily solve this so now you can solve this you see rh that is 1 divided by n e where n is 2.55 into 10 to the power 28 and e is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 and if you simply solve this in calculator you will be getting final answer let me check what is my answer that is 2.45 into 10 to the power minus 10 meter cube per coulomb so unit of whole coefficient that is meter cube per, per coulomb and that is how this solution is coming so sometimes you may need to understand what is the meaning of some terms right so bcc cell side structure that is given so i thought i should keep this type of question so that if some some tricks are there in question then also my students can be able to solve questions i hope you have understood this till if anything that you would like to share please note it down in the comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video